welcome everybody. We're the Strengthening Communities team from the County Council. Uh, we work in partnership with um, community, voluntary, public sector and also businesses um, to help build stronger communities. I'm Wendy Lansdowne. And I'm Colleen Easy. I'm Chris Swarbrick. Um, and today we'd love to share with you some of the positive stories that have um, come out during the pandemic. We know it's been a really tough time for people, but during that time, the, the communities of East Cambridge here have shown some really, some real strength um, and neighbourliness. And we'd just like to share a few of those stories. I'll wait a moment while I just share my screen. So that's us at East Cam's local, and I'm going to hand over to Colleen to start with the first story. So Captain America paid a little visit to Little Thetford last year to hand out and share Easter eggs with the children and passing adults. Several children in the village dressed up as their favourite superhero to make him feel at home. The Shade and Weatherall schools in Soham collaborated with community organisations to celebrate VE Day last year. Over 30 children wrote letters to local older residents and in return they were sent their own letters back sharing memories of VE Day and post-war experiences. Many of the residents were shielding and were delighted to be taking part. So and write and unite a fantastic intergenerational experience for all. And over to Chris. So in Wiccan, in Wiccan, a support network has been created by Amy Reeves and Kate Wakefield. This is in partnership with GMs, who are a family-run business in, from Soham, and with a 35-plus strong team of volunteers, they have been able to support vulnerable residents in their area by providing a weekly fruit and veg delivery service. This has been widely appreciated by the residents and now has more than 30 repeat orders each week. Since the first lockdown, there has been a wonderful and imaginative explosion of artwork and captivation, captivating at creations, which can be found in J John's Wood, a hidden woodland in Coveney, all courtesy of the minds of Coveney's youngest residents. Faces in trees, rainbows chalked on branches, fairy houses and dens of stick, all signs of that community spirit is alive and well. And staying in Coveney, um, the Village Hall Committee there um, ran a, a lovely um, Coveney Sparkles event on Bonfire Night last year, where they distributed sparklers to the community. And then at, um, I think it was 6.30, everybody came to their doorsteps um, and, and shared that community spirit um, sparkling away in Coveney. And finally, we'll take you to Fordham, where on the right here, you can see someone tying their wishes on their community wish tree. Um, and they had the lovely idea of then collecting these um, wishes and putting them in a time capsule, which you can see in the um, uh, picture behind is then being buried in the ground for future generations to see the, the wishes for a brighter future that the villagers had. So hopefully those few stories will give you um, a flavour and make you proud to live in Cambridgeshire. It certainly, uh, East Cambridgeshire, it certainly makes us really excited to be a new team working here um, and to, to be working alongside such strong and wonderful communities. Um, we just wanted to finish by um, sharing a little bit about the newsletter, which actually if you, if you have uh, your phone, you could just scan that QR code on the screen and that should take you to the newsletter. Um, and Colleen's just going to tell you a little bit about that and our comms now. Thanks. Thank you, Wendy. Um, the newsletter is published digitally every two months to share positive and community minded news, stories and information to its residents. Um, we also have a Facebook page and that can be found at East Cams Local. Thank you, Colleen. And then Chris also had something to share. 
Yes, so on if you would follow the links and also on the newsletter, we're also including a link to our a form for our new mapping um, sort of system, the way we're, we're trying to gather information for local community groups to be able to share their information. And so we have a focus, uh, a point of focus for where people can get information from. So we'd like to invite you to follow that link and add your information if you are running or part of a local um, community engagement group or sports group, or if you provide anything towards your community. So please follow that link and um, be sure to share your, your information. Thank you, Chris. Um, thank you, Colleen. Um, and thank you for listening. Um, and we really look forward to connecting with you.